Earlier tonight at Youngstown State, we found a car being towed. The cold air likely draining what was already a battery going bad. The 13 degree temperature of Saturday morning took a lot of car batteries by surprise. Bad news for car owners, but good news for those who sell them. More details tonight on the spike in sales at auto parts stores. So basically what we do is we hook up the tester to it. Tony Tosca of Boardman's Advanced Auto Parts store this afternoon demonstrated a battery testing, a job he's performed 40 times since Friday. This past week, it's gotten so cold around this time of year, our battery sales, like, I mean, they triple. It's, it's insane. In the past week, Boardman's Advanced Auto Parts sold 100 batteries. In a normal week, it would sell 30. It's not unusual, though. There's always a spike in battery sales when the weather turns cold. People's batteries are starting to die just because the cold cranker amps are wearing out on an older battery, but basically three, four year old battery will start to wear out. And, and once the weather gets cold, it's harder for the battery to turn it on. They were busy with tire work today at Flynn's Tire and Auto Service in Boardman, but Flynn's as well has seen a spike in battery sales the past few days. Probably 15 or 20, I would imagine. A uh, normal day, maybe one when, it, when it's warm out. Brian Colat manages the Boardman Flynn's. I asked him, when a car won't start, how often is it the battery? Nine times out of 10. It's a problem the mechanics at Flynn's do their best to prevent. Uh, we try to check everybody's battery throughout the year as we service the cars, let them know beforehand, but a lot of people, you know, just wait till the last minute or until it's too late. Advanced Auto Parts has a battery station, half of a wall filled with nothing but batteries. There are 100 different styles, depending on what someone wants to pay. In our stores, anywhere from 90 to 200. So for the next few months, if your car won't start. With the cold weather, most of the time it turns out it's just a dead battery. I also talked with Utzinger's towing service today, and since it turned cold on Friday, they had to jumpstart about 12 vehicles where normally Utzinger's would do two or three.